Hey Slackers, welcome to part 4 of this Arch Linux tutorial series. Last time I covered how to allow tab autocomplete to work with sudo and man. How to troubleshoot network connectivity issues using ping, dhcpcd, and netcfg. I also went over how to optimize Pac-Man by modifying its mirror list using nano using rank mirrors or reflector to sort mirrors by connection speed, and finally I went over how to update and upgrade Pac-Man to use its new settings. Please check out part 3 of this series in case you missed any of the above steps. Now if you're still around, let's dive into the AUR. So the AUR, or Arch User Repository, is a repository full of community contributed packages. If for some reason there's a Linux program you cannot find using Pac-Man, chances are it's in the AUR. Now by default it's inaccessible through normal means, that is Pac-Man has no ability to download or install packages from this repository. Now there are many methods to install packages from this Arch user repository and I'll cover a few of them here. The first method you will have to use at least once, and it requires a combination of a web browser, a downloader, an unpacker, and finally Pac-Man to actually install the file. So to get started, let's change directories back to our home directory since last time we left off in network.d. So let's change directory into tilde, which is shorthand for our home directory. And if we run an ls, we'll quickly find that there are no directories located in our home folder. So let's make one real quick for our downloaded packages using make dir. And we're going to call this builds. Now if we run an ls, now we know there's a builds directory in there. So let's change directory into builds. And again, there's nothing in it. So let's get ourselves a web browser. So let's run sudo pacman capital S. We're going to download links as well as wget for later. All right, I'll go ahead and upgrade pacman here. And we'll run the command again. Right on. So what links is is a web browser that functions in the command line interface so we don't need uh, a GUI to be able to use it. It's pretty cool. So in order to get started we can run links and enter again and you'll have a blank screen. Now in order to type in a web address you hit G and you can type in a URL. So we're going to go to HTTP colon whack whack AUR dot arch Linux dot org going to hit enter. Now in order to navigate we're going to use the down, up and down arrows. So let's go down to packages and hit enter. Again we're going to use the down arrow and we're going to go to keywords and let's search for something called Yaourt. And then go down to go and hit enter. We're going to go down to yaourt-git, hit enter. And we're going to go over to download tarball and hit enter. It's going to ask you whether or not you want to save it. You're going to hit save and move over to the far left and we're going to type tilde for home whack, builds, another whack, and you'll see now that we're going to point this to download into our builds folder. So we're going to highlight OK and hit enter. Now before we close this out we need to grab something called a dependency which is something that this program requires to run. Under dependencies highlight package-query-git hit enter. and go to download tarball. Hit enter, hit save, and again we're going to point it to that builds directory. So now that we got what we need we're going to hit control C to exit back to our terminal. 
run an ls on our builds directory and you'll see now that you'll have both of those packages that we downloaded off of the AUR. So in order to uncompress these things, we're going to use a command called tar using the Z, X, and F switches, and we're going to start with package query since it's the dependency. Otherwise, we would not be able to install Yaward. So let's take a look at package here and hit enter. Now, if you run an LS, you'll see that tar created a directory for us to go into in order to be able to view the contents of what has been unpackaged. So while we're at it, let's go ahead and run tar on our other downloaded file, Yaourt. Now we have another directory in there for our separate package. But anyway, let's start with uh, our package query. We'll run an ls here, and you'll see that there's a file in here called package build. Let's take a look at it with nano. Now these are the instructions that package is going to use in order to install itself. So when you view a package build, you're mainly looking for any malicious code or anything that you may need to change specifically for your system. For example, under Arch, some programs simply have something here for x86. So if that were to happen and you would need this to work on your 64-bit uh, system, you've, you would have to change this part of the file in order for it to work. But anyway, this file looks good to me, so I'm going to hit Control x to quit out of nano. So let's compile this package. You run a command called make package with the S switch. I'm going to hit enter. And the S switch for make package tells it to search for any dependencies that this thing may require in order to install. So we're going to hit yes to continue with the installation of these dependencies. Right on, so you know it's done when you're back to the prompt. So we're going to hit ls, and now you'll see that there's a tar.xz. That's our compiled package that we can actually install now. So to do this, you can run sudo pacman with the u switch, and we're going to point it at our newly created file. Ensure that it's got the tar.xz extension. Hit enter, we're going to install it. Now that we have the dependency installed for Yaourt, let's go ahead and install Yaourt now. So we're going to change directories using dot dot. Now that's shorthand for back one directory. And we're going to change into our Yaourt directory. Again, if we run an ls to display the contents of this folder, you'll see that there's package build in there. So let's check it out with Nano again. Looks good. Control X to exit. Make a package. F switch. Cool and sudo pacman u. And again, we make sure that it's got the tar.xz extension. We're going to hit enter and install it. Return to our home directory now. So what Yaourt is, is a command line tool that can be used to download and install packages off of the AUR, and it functions pretty much like Pac-Man. We're going to download a program called Archie, or a command rather, called Archie. So let's take a look. Yaourt, capital S, and then a small s to search. And let's look for Archie. So you'll see that the results have AUR in them, and we're going to install Archie. So in order to do that, same thing, use Yaourt with the capital S and then Archie. So here it's going to ask you whether or not you want to take a look at the package build. Sure, we'll take a look, and we'll use Nano. Looks good, we're going to hit Control X. Hit no to look at package build since we already did so. And we're going to hit Y to continue building it. 
And here are all the dependencies it needs. So we're going to proceed with those. And Y to continue install. Certainly a lot, lot faster than using the browser and making the package, right? So let's try using Archie now. There we go. All right, guys, that is how you install programs off of the Arch user repository. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.